Gilly, the kid, made it out of the streets and became one of the most positive dudes in Philadelphia. But that didn't stop him from tragically losing his son, YNG Cheese, to the trenches. Cheese was trying to pop off in the rap game like his dad did back in the day, but he ended up getting caught in the crazy situation we're breaking down today. YNG Cheese came up in North Philly and started getting in trouble at an early age. North Philly is a wild place where anything can happen to anyone, and Cheese ended up falling into the trenches like most of the tools he grew up around. Back in the day, he was all about playing sports and making it out of the streets that way, but acting wild and staying in the streets held him back from his hoop dreams, and Cheese ended up getting kicked out of school and couldn't play anymore. Sports were his main focus in high school, but after it didn't work out, he knew he had to switch lanes and find a different path. He had been rapping and making music since he was around 9 years old, but back then, it was just something he did for fun. His dad, Gilly the Kid, was always in the studio when Cheese was coming up, and Cheese said that's where he learned how everything in the booth worked. Cheese decided to go hard in the studio after high school, but he was still close to the streets. He tried working a legit job at Walgreens for a while, but that only lasted a few months, and then Cheese was right back in the trenches. What makes his story even more tragic than other rappers dying is that his dad already made it out of the streets and left all the drama behind. Gilly the Kid was also born and raised in Philly. Now he's famous for hosting a million dollars worth of game podcast. But back in the day, he was really out in the trenches trying to get his rap career popping. In the early 2000s, Gilly even had a deal with Cash Money Records and was supposed to be working with Birdman and Lil Wayne. It should have been a massive win, but then the situation fell apart and sparked a beef that's still going on today. According to Gilly, Cash Money handed over 200k to sign him on the spot, but they didn't work out any of his publishing deals. He said they just wanted to get him locked into a contract as fast as possible and were trying to play with his money. Gilly said he tried to talk to Wayne about the situation, but Wayne didn't even know how publishing worked. After all the drama with Cash Money, Gilly ended up leaving the label, and that's when Wayne dropped the track Problem Solver and rapped, Gilly man, I don't think you niggas should really fuck with me. The gun off me urgently working and twerking it perfectly. Circle the block, I'm like fuck it, I'm busting them, I'm cussing them. Like fuck them, I buck them, I buck them, I buck them. After Wayne dissed him, Gilly clapped back on a rap DVD and claimed that he was writing lyrics for Wayne and a bunch of other cash money artists. And then on the track Warning Shots, he rapped, Stop playing with me boy, Lil Wayne, for an OG spank you with the cannon. Give you all 17 shots from the cannon. And you don't want a war with my army, go get your navy up. Bosses only talk to bosses, wake baby up. I mean, what you gotta prove to these niggas? You know you, you know I'll put the tools to you, nigga. Whole time around cash money, tutor the nigga. I guess that's what coke and ecstasy will do to a nigga. Wayne responded with live from 504 and took more shots at Gilly with the bar. See, you can smell that I smoke, and yep, I sit that lean. You hit me with that combination, it make my eyes bleed. I'm a shark in the water, yep, I swim with the big, so I don't have time to deal with Willie the Squid. Gilly's beef with Wayne was getting some shine in the spotlight, but his rap career wasn't really popping off and he was still active in the streets. Gilly said he was always tripping back then because he had money from the trenches, and that's what almost got him killed back in 2006. Gilly was chilling with some homies in someone else's hood, and someone in the area rolled up and tried to press him for his clothes and jewelry. Gilly wasn't just going to let it go without a fight though, and he ended up getting shot three times. Luckily, he pulled through and made a full recovery, but then a year later, he almost lost his life in another way. Gilly and four of his homies got booked for allegedly running the drug ring, and the cops found 89 pounds of weed in the stash house they allegedly owned. Usually, when that many dudes get hit with the same crime, at least one of them will flip on his homies to save himself. But Gilly and the rest of the guys kept it solid, and eventually the case was dropped because the cops didn't have enough evidence. At the same time he beat the case, Gilly scored another huge win. After the news broke, he was signing a deal with Kosh Records. By the time Cheese was coming up, Gilly was already out of the streets and making real business deals. But when you grow up in a place like Philly, it's hard to avoid the trenches, and Cheese ended up in them just like his dad back in the day. Cheese said he made a lot of mistakes before he hopped in the booth and ended up getting books on drug charges. He was also drinking lean and popping perks, but Cheese knew he had to switch up how he moved if he was going to make it out of the city. A lot of rappers who come from the trenches get some money and don't even think about how it's going to change everything, but Cheese proved from the jump that he had bigger plans. Instead of letting his homies carry guns and act like security, Cheese hired real guards who had gun licenses so he wouldn't risk his homies getting locked up. Cheese knew that Philly was a deadly place to stay, and he said he wanted to move to California or Atlanta to get away from all the drama. In an interview, he talked about how much beef and killing was going on in the city, and it's clear that Cheese wasn't trying to stay wrapped up in those situations. He dropped his first project, Born a Star, in 2019 and caught a little buzz in Philly, but his real break came in 2021 when he linked up with his brother Mac for the track Ignore. Mac and Cheese grew up in different houses, but they were always tight and started collabing together in the booth. 
They had plans to drop a bunch of projects together, but then Cheese was tragically shot and killed in his hometown before they got the chance. After Cheese started getting some success in the industry, his first goal was to make it out of Philly. After his son Chase was born, Cheese knew that he didn't want him growing up without a father figure in his life like so many dudes in the city had to. And by the time Chase was two, Cheese wanted to be far away from the drama of Philly. Cheese never had the opportunity to see his dreams come true though, because on July 22nd, 2023, he was shot and killed in an area of Philly called Oni. It's still not clear exactly what went down, but according to reports, Cheese was chilling on the block with a couple homies when a shooter rolled through and started letting off shots. Two other guys got hit and survived, but Cheese caught a bullet in the back and was tragically pronounced dead less than an hour later. Nobody's been booked for what went down, and right now it seems like nobody knows why it happened. Cheese talks about moving smart and keeping security around him, but that night he got caught lacking somehow and was chilling in one of the roughest hoods in the city. Wallow267 is Gillian Cheese's cousin and the co-host of Million Dollars Worth of Game. He spent 20 years in prison and didn't get to watch Cheese grow up, but he said losing his little cousin like that is just making them even more dedicated to stopping the violence in Philly. Gilly and Wallow turned their lives around and have been doing so much for Philly that they were even giving keys to the city. Cheese said he wanted to make his own lane and not rely on his dad to be successful, but that's what makes the situation even more tragic. Gilly had enough money to buy Cheese a crib anywhere he wanted to live, but Cheese didn't want to go that way. He was dedicated to his own hustle, but unfortunately, he stuck around the city too long and ended up dying in the same streets he wanted to leave behind. There's no evidence to back it up right now, but there's a rumor going around that Cheese actually had a price on his head because someone was trying to get at Gilly. Gilly hasn't been involved with the streets in a long time, but rumors say he still had a lot of ops who wanted to settle scores with him and they went after Cheese just to hurt him. We don't know what actually happened yet or why, but it was another tragic loss for Philly that shocked the city. Gilly said it's the hardest thing he's ever had to go through. Hopefully we'll find out more about who was behind Cheese's murder soon and his family will get some closure. So tap in for updates while the story develops. Rest in peace, YNG Cheese.